Hey everyone, Dr. Harmon here. Today I'd like to talk about where the cartilage we use for grafting the nose during rhinoplasty surgery comes from. There are really four sources, and it's important to start by discussing why we use them. So the nose is composed of bone and cartilage, uh, specifically two paired cartilages below the nasal bone. And cartilage from other locations can be used to do a couple of things. The first thing is that this cartilage can be used to provide more structure and support to the openings inside and the edges of the nose in order to improve breathing. So for example, if someone has difficulty breathing through their nose and I notice narrowing or collapse of one area, grafting can be used to uh, strengthen it in order to improve the breathing process. The second reason why grafting might be utilized is for cosmetic purposes. So grafting, utilizing cartilage from locations other than the external nose can be used to change the shape and contour to achieve a certain aesthetic result. Probably the most common cartilage used comes from the septum, which is the wall that separates the right from the left nasal cavity. Now the septum is composed of cartilage and bone, and sometimes the bone is used, but it's usually the cartilage. And a portion of that cartilage is removed and fashioned into a graft, depending on the specific needs and location that that graft needs to go. Now, septal cartilage is ideal for many reasons. It's straight in most cases and strong, and it comes from an area close by so that when you're doing the rhinoplasty surgery, you don't always have to have additional incisions. It's, it's all located right where you're working. Now, septal cartilage may not be available because someone has undergone a previous rhinoplasty surgery or septoplasty, or a patient may have had severe trauma to the nose resulting in a lot of scarring and abnormally shaped cartilage in the septum that might not make it useful for the uses it's needed for. Another option for cartilage it comes from the ear. It comes from what's called the auricle or the contral cartilage, which is a specific area of the ear that sits near the opening to the ear canal. This cartilage is ideally shaped for a specific part of the nose, and it can be very useful for a lot of reasons. Uh, it can be useful when reconstructing uh, Mohs defects after cancer is removed from the skin and parts of the nose. Uh, it can also be used when the septal cartilage is not available or is otherwise not useful. Now there are some downsides to taking this cartilage and, and that is that it's not quite as strong as septal cartilage. It can also become more calcified as we get older and that makes it less useful for grafting the nose. Now the risk of there being any sort of change to the shape of the ear or the appearance of the ear is low because of the location of this cartilage. It, hides in an area where not, none of the defining features or folds of the ear are modified with its harvesting. The third location where cartilage can be harvested for the nose is the rib. And the rib has many great features. First, you can get a lot of cartilage. And so it can be used for larger grafts. For example, individuals who have a very low depressed bridge of the nose, it, it, a very large graft can be fashioned that can improve the appearance of that depressed bridge. It's strong, which is also wonderful, and it's not something that appreciably changes um, until you get older. It can become calcified like ear cartilage, uh, but it is useful for quite a long time. Now, some people prefer not to utilize rib cartilage, and that's because it does require an extra incision under the breast and the resulting scar and it can be a little painful after surgery. Uh, so some individuals choose to move forward with donor rib cartilage. Uh, this donor rib cartilage is tested and processed to make sure it's safe. Uh, it has a lot of the same features that your own rib cartilage has, and so it can be used for larger grafts or for people who may not have available cartilage in the ear or the septum. The, the graft, that is needed and the grafting source, meaning where you're getting the cartilage from, it really depends on a lot of factors. And it depends on factors that are related to your previous medical history and surgical history, what the aesthetic or functional goals are, and the conversation that you need to have between your surgeon um, and you.